welcome to this video lecture on SLR parsing. In the first video lecture on SLR parser, I have discussed construction of LR0 items and construction of LR0 automata. In the second video lecture, I have discussed construction of SLR parsing table. In this, I will be discussing the parsing of the given string by using the SLR parsing table. For this, I will be referring the same grammar which is referred for construction of the automata and construction of the parsing table. So the parsing table, the SLR parsing table, this is the SLR parsing table for the given grammar which is having four types of entry that is shift entry, reduce type of entry, accept type of entry and the error type of entry. For the four types of entries, the SLR parser has four possible different, different ways to handle the parsing procedure. I will be explaining these four with example. So the SLR parsing. So while writing the parsing, we have to write down the stack, symbols, input and action. Here the input string which is to be parsed is written here and it ends with the dollar. The stack always begins with the initial state. In this case, I0 corresponds to the state 0 and it, it becomes the initial state. So the parse, parsing procedure begins with the stack with 0 at the top of the stack. Input which is pointing to the first input that is the leftmost symbol ID. Now 0 and ID will be referred in the parsing table. Here for reference I have taken the parsing table image. So we refer to 0 and id. We find the shift entry here. So we have shifted id to the symbols part and because it is shift 5 the state level 5 gets pushed onto the stack. Then the next here now the top of the stack is 5 and present input is star. So we refer to the uh, to the position 5 and star 5 and star we get the action reduce action reduce and this 6 is basically related to the rule number 6 so it will be reduced by the sixth rule f gives id it will be reduced by the rule f gives id so id gets replaced by f now the right hand side of the production rule has a single symbol so one state on the stack will be popped out. Now what is there at the top of the stack is 0. So we refer to 0 and f in the go to part of the parsing table. 0 and f in the go to part of the uh, parsing table is having state level 3. So that 3 gets pushed onto the stack at the top of the stack. Then it, the top of the stack is 3 and present input is star. So we refer to 3 and star, we refer to 3 and star and we get the action reduced by rule number 4. Rule number 4 is t gives f, so we reduce it by t gives f. So the f gets replaced by t and because right hand side has a single symbol, the single symbol at the top of the stack is popped out. Now what is there at the uh, top of the stack is 0, so we refer to 0 and t in the go to part 0 and t in the go to part is having state level 2 so that 2 gets pushed onto the stack further then 2 and star we refer to 2 and star 2 and star gives us s7 that means shift so it has shifted star and it has pushed 7 onto the stack as well so it is now 7 and id so we refer to 7 and id, 7 and id is shift action. So we have shifted id onto the stack and 5 is also pushed onto the stack. Now it is 5 and plus, 5 and plus which is representing reduced by rule number 6 which is f gives id. So here id gets replaced by f and now because id is a single symbol, 5 gets removed from the top of the stack. Now there is 7. So 7 and F. 7 and F will be referred. 7 and F is having state 10. 
so 10 gets pushed onto the stack 10 gets pushed onto the stack because it is reduced id is replaced by f here now it is 10 and plus so we refer to 10 and plus 10 and plus which is reduced by rule number 3 and rule number 3 is t gives t star f so reduced by t gives t star f that means t star f will be replaced by t and now right hand side has three symbols that is that is why we pop three states from the stack 10 7 and 2 so what remains on the stack is 0 so we refer to 0 and t 0 and t is giving state level 2 so we have pushed here 2 onto the stack so what is done here it is reduced by t gives t star f so t star f is replaced by t as there are three symbols three are removed from the stack to 7 10 are popped out from the stack and then we refer to 0 and t which is giving the state level 2 so 2 gets pushed onto the stack then the next is 2 and plus so 2 and plus which is reduced by rule number 2 rule number 2 is e gives t so t is replaced by e 2 will be popped out from the stack and we refer to 0 and e 0 and e gives us state level 1 so 1 gets pushed onto the stack then it is 1 and plus 1 and plus 1 and plus is giving shift by shift and 6 so we have shifted plus onto the input part and we have pushed the 6 onto the stack as well then the next is 6 and id so 6 and id is shift and 5 so we have shifted plus onto the stack so we have shifted id onto the id onto the input part and we have pushed 5 onto the stack then comes 5 and dollar 5 and dollar is reduced by rule number 6 reduced by rule number 6 so it is reducing by f gives id so id gets replaced by f and this 5 gets popped out from the stack then we refer to 6 and f 6 and f 6 and f is 3 so this 3 gets pushed onto the stack as well then the next is 3 and dollar 3 and dollar is reduced by 4 reduced by 4 so reduced by rule number 4 that is t gives f so here f is replaced by t 3 is popped out from the stack then we refer to 6 and t 6 and t 6 and t gives you 9 so 9 gets pushed onto the stack then the next is 9 and dollar 9 and dollar is reduced by rule number 1 so reduced by rule number 1 that is e gives e plus t so here e plus t is replaced by e and then because there are three symbols on the right hand side so we popped out 1 6 and 9 so what remains on the stack is 0 so we refer to 0 and e 0 and e is 1 so 1 is pushed onto the stack now it is the a accept configuration that is symbol what is remaining is e because it is the accept configuration the uh, string is parsed and it is a valid string this is how the parsing for the given input string will be done by using the slr parsing table Reference for this video lecture was the book on compilers by Alfred Ahu. Thank you.